Fort Belknap Fish and Wildlife started their dog roundup on the reservation last week. But a nonprofit rescue shelter based out of Dodson is doing everything they can to find homes for the, these dogs. MTN's Kaylee Collins was along the High Line today and has more. Since the dog roundup started on July 25th, rescue dogs have brought in more than 16 dogs to this makeshift shelter. This is meant to be a temporary holding spot before dogs just like Hercules are sent to shelters across the state. In a poster, it states any dog not chained or kenneled will be impounded immediately. The co-founder of Rescue Dogs says there's no impound place on the reservation, though. Making the animals pay, killing the animals, it's not the answer. Enforcing the laws, passing better laws is. And again, that's whether it's this community or anywhere in the United States. You're not going to solve it by creating a cycle of death. He says a tribal council member said the dogs would be killed. That's why they stepped in. To stand by and do nothing, it's uh, just sad. These animals, death for no reason. You know, it's uh, most of these animals have done nothing wrong except be born. He agrees this is an issue, but says that this isn't the solution. There are people that know that the animals are a problem. Uh, when they, when you have a bunch of stray animals, uh, it doesn't matter. It can be the nicest animals in the world. The entire mentality changes when they pack up. It's, uh, you can see it in all animals, even people. But the ones they've seen aren't like that. They're wonderful animals. Uh, they'll get good homes. Uh, you would think that we would get a lot of feral animals, but everybody that's met them, are, they're just amazed at what, how nice they are. And he hopes to give all these dogs a second chance at a good life. It's a really good feeling uh, that in doing this, you get to go to bed every night, wake up every morning, and I kind of shrink away from this word, but to somebody, you're a hero. Hopefully, we get through this and there's no, there are no further roundups. All it does is perpetuate. Now this dog roundup is scheduled to end on August 20th. The rescue dog says they're going to do whatever they can to help. Along the High Line, Kaylee Collins, MTN News. Now we did reach out to Fort Belknap Fish and Wildlife for comment, but have not heard back as of news time. We'll keep you updated as we continue to follow this story.